All right, guys, I'm not normally a fan of defensive fixed blades, but every so often I come across one that is really a standout, I guess you could say. And today we're gonna talk about the TKL Nightshade. And yes, we will talk about the Tac P here in a future video, because this thing is also really cool and totally worth talking about. But this video is about the TKL Knives nightshade and this is one of my kind of new kind of newish knives but quickly becoming one of my favorite edc defensive fixed blades and it really has to do with this freaking cool really cool blade shape now this is what tkl calls their reverse tonto and you guys can probably get that gist it, it does look like a reverse tonto akin to something like you know a benchmade 940 in its blade shape but one thing that i will say that is cool about the um, reverse tonto that tkl does is the fact that it has this nasty nasty little sharpened upper swedge so on most you know reverse tontos worn cliffs and such you do have this very acute point and on some they will you know make this a um, unsharpened swedge but the fact that you have this almost dagger-like presence where you know you have this long sharpened edge and then a an additional sharpened edge coming down to meet it gives you this incredible ability to pierce with this blade while that um, reverse tonto still gives you really good slashing capability because the actual edge that you're presenting is still straight it's flat so you have that really good ability to present and then of course this still is a reverse tonto so that tip can still be used to slice very very well so that is really freaking cool in addition to that too i think uh, another thing that I really dig about this guy is just how nice and how well shaped the ergonomics are. Whether you decide to run your finger inside or outside of this loop, you have a really good grip on this blade. And overall, I have to say, I think that these ergonomics are freaking fire. This blade is just the right thickness and uh, yeah, it feels great in the hand. Once again, whether it's a term more traditional kind of forward grip or whether you decide to run it ice pick um it just really comes together well in addition to this thing is made out of 80 crv2 so a pretty decent steel i would say for a defensive knife obviously 80 crv2 is not like the most cutting edge it's not like magna cut or something but at the same time too i think that this guy especially um the nightshade here is really designed with one thing in mind and that is self-defense so i think for a self-defense knife this does that job really really well so i have to say at least like uh, i really don't have any complaints about it one thing that i do find a little bit peculiar but not too off-putting is how short the grind is so i will say once again this is probably going to be more oriented towards like self-defense i mean can you cut with this obviously like this is a sharpened edge but i will say because of how short that grind is and i mean it is very short very abrupt you have a very thick um edge behind your uh, like very cutting edge and even though they've gone in and you know they've added a very short grind and then a bevel to the actual cutting edge so it is sharp you guys can see how thick that edge is behind the grind it is no joke so i will say it's probably not going to be the best um, blade for it's probably not going to be the best blade for like opening packages and boxes and stuff or like slicing things. Probably wouldn't want to like try to feather stick with this knife. But at the same time too, this thing is very, very effective at being something that you can throw in a pocket, throw on your side, just, you know, carry it and conceal it pretty darn easily and then of course that loop makes it very easy to just rip this out of you know whatever compartment uh, it's hidden or tucked away in and then you get immediate access to a very scary very sharp blade so aside from that you do have some lightning holes in it and uh, i think those are really more just for aesthetics but either way you put it um this thing's pretty darn cool i really like it for sure and uh yeah, these things are totally worth picking up. Um, T 
TKL does make a whole bunch of other um, blades, but this one to me, I think was the one that like stuck out the most. And I was like, this thing has the potential to be a sick freaking self-defense knife. And in my opinion, I think that's what it serves. It's or it's best suited for in that role. So definitely expect to see this in more self-defense videos. And of course, as I've said in many videos, you know, I don't think that knives are the most perfect thing for self-defense, but there's a lot of applications where I think um, fixed blades are handy or it may be more convenient or conducive to a particular area to grab a self-defense fixed blade over something like a firearm. So in those types of applications, I do think the nightshade stacks up pretty darn well. So that's kind of uh, what I like about it, what I dig about it. Now, unfortunately, the sheath that I got, um, and I knew this getting into it, um, but this one was a bit of a mess up for the sheath. So my mounting options are fairly limited and I might actually have to drill another hole in this sheath or try to drill another hole or try to drill another hole so that I can uh, mount this as like a neck knife or as a small of the back carry. But we will see how it ends up going. Right now, I just usually throw it in a pocket and kind of run it as a pocket knife. And I think that works very well for me personally. So that's kind of how it's set up for me. And uh, yeah, it's overall a really cool blade and I think it is totally worth checking out. And overall too, um, like I said, TKL makes some really cool blades. So definitely give them a look, see if anything catches your eye. But most importantly guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.